you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. What's going on everyone? Kenan here and it's time for another Ask Cam Kenan question. These questions are submitted by our Patreon supporters and uh, we want to thank you for being a supporter. If you guys want to help out and support what we're doing here at the camp, go to patreon.com slash camp Kenan and you can support. Now, here's what's going on everybody. Amber Futch uh, wrote to us and says, hey Kenan, she's going to be moving soon and she wants to know how best to transport her, her turtle um, without overstimulating them. I don't really know what that means, but um, uh, she wants to know what to do the day before and the day after her move. So I would just recommend the day before, you're gonna wanna just get a uh, enclosure ready, a small box. If it's a water turtle, I like to put in sphagnum moss so they can burrow down into it. Remember, turtles can get out of water and stay out of water for quite some time, even if they're an aquatic species, as long as there's a nice moist place for them to kind of hang out. So I would get some sphagnum moss, put it in a little uh, carry terrarium, depending on the size of your tortoise, and basically go ahead and Put him in there, make sure he can't really move too much, but you want him to be able to extend his head uh, easily enough. Um, keep it kind of darker in there so that they just kind of go to sleep and, re and relax. Here's some uh, elongated is just sunbathing right now, by the way. Uh, but you, you know, you're gonna want that tortoise to just kind of hang out and uh, turtle rather to relax in there. Uh, and it'll just be cushioned and burled down and you get on your way. Now what I would do is make sure that you get to your destination ASAP. Once you get there, you're going to want to set that enclosure up as soon as possible so you can get the animal back into a more comfortable abode. But uh, usually they don't have any trouble uh, moving about uh, in a car. I actually drove all the way from Pennsylvania to Las Vegas with some turtles of mine. Uh, and in fact, we're now in here uh, and there's Darwin over there. And I actually flew Darwin across the United States on the Delta flight. And to do that, we built a special crate. And after that, I put a bunch of uh, hay in the crate. So she was able to just kind of bed down and relax while she was being transported. Now, same thing for a tortoise. If I were going to move a medium-sized tortoise, and it was a tortoise from a very uh, humid environment, I'd get a bunch of sphagnum moss. I'd moisten it down, put them in some kind of area where they can just bed into it and then get to where I'm going ASAP. Now, again, I also drove from Santa Monica, or excuse me, Santa Barbara, California, all the way here to Florida with about 140 turtles and tortoises. Uh, and we basically got Rubbermaid tubs, drilled out some air holes, uh, depending on the species. If they were a drier species, they got hay to kind of bed down in. And if it was a more moist species, we used cypress mulch or sphagnum moss, and we moistened it so that they would continue to have that humidity. Now the tortoises know what to do. They kind of just go into a state of uh, bedding down and relaxation uh, for the most part. Um, but you know, they did stink up the vehicle quite something uh, fierce. It was incredible. Uh, so uh, be prepared for that if you have more than one turtle or tortoise because they will definitely uh, continue to poop. Uh, that will happen. So you wanna get uh, to the, where you're going, you wanna set them all up and uh, they should be fine. So I hope that answers your question, Amber. Uh, I don't really think you're gonna overstimulate them. I think it's just a, you know, it's a necessary evil. He's gonna have to get out of his old home and into a new one. So make sure you make the ride as comfortable as possible by doing the things I have asked you to do. Don't worry about feeding them. Most water turtles won't eat out of the water anyway. So uh, as long as they're fat and happy to begin with, a couple of days traveling uh, shouldn't be a big deal. All right, so I hope it all works out for you. Thanks for uh, being a Patreon supporter here at Camp Kennan. And uh, for those of you, hit subscribe. Hit the Camp Kennan Army over there on the other channel. Subscribe to that as well. And thanks again for all your support, everyone. Quick video today. We got to see Darwin, and there's uh, Socrates and Nostradamus in the corner over there as well. So uh, why don't I do this for you? Why don't I leave with a nice shot of those tortoises? See you guys later.